Yo, yo, what's up, guys? Welcome back to Trippy Commentaries. Thanks for checking out the episode. I hope you're having a good week so far. Today, we're going to investigate this unnamed house. I'm sure most of you guys are familiar with it. It looks straight out of an episode of Are You Afraid of the Dark? There's crows flying around. You got the dark window. And then inside, you can find the mysterious man-made creature. Well, I have new evidence that shows that we might be able to bring the freak of nature to life. So let's head inside the house. Huge shout out to all the new subscribers. We've been growing a lot recently. But I see that a lot of the people who watch these videos are not subs. So definitely subscribe and hit the notification button because we investigate a lot of these locations live. If you hit the notification button, that'll let you know whenever they begin. So here we are in the room. You got the four letters and then you can inspect the creature itself. So let's look at this letter first. Take a look at this one, guys. And let me know if you think that we can bring it to life. The first note says, the creature is ready. So the creature is ready. Parts are currently on ice, prepped for surgery any day now. Immensa creatura. And notice how the fireplace is on. That kind of shows you that whoever is working on this body was probably here recently. We'll inspect the creature. How you doing, buddy? Can you imagine if we bring it to life? I think it's going to happen. There's a chance they could hold it off to be the final boss of an undead nightmare. Okay, I didn't want to look at the note. That one just shows a skull. Maybe showing that we have to bring a human here somehow. We get the great artwork of Arthur Morgan. He draws the man, bear, pig, vulture, ram. I don't even know everything that's included. Look at that. That actually is a really good drawing. So he says, and I thought I knew folks with strange hobbies. Now, last night we did inspect the notes and one of them shows a 22 ounce bear heart. Where is it? Which note? Is it this one over here? Okay, there's one there. Something in the sink. Let's inspect this letter. No, this is the vulture wing. So this is four vulture wings. You would think that we'd be able to get that and then bring it back. But this is the one that I had an issue with. We hunted the biggest grizzly we can find. We even hunted down the legendary grizzly, but you do not get a bear heart, which means we cannot get the 22 ounce bear heart that he needs for the experiment. Let me know if you guys have any ideas, but I think that everything is complete. As it says, it is ready, but there's one thing missing, and I think that that is power. You have to get some Frankenstein vibes from the creature, and look what is next door to it. You see this, guys? This is very important. Not only this contraption, but there is something on the roof that not only links to Frankenstein, but also the Tesla factory, guys. You have to climb to the top of the Tesla tower, practically get struck by lightning in the process, but finally you make it back in here and then Marco Dragic brings power to the robot. This is one of my favorite cutscenes in the game. The purple lightning, do we have to do the same exact thing with the man-made creature? Cause it looks pretty hard to pull off. Now, unfortunately this one doesn't exactly go perfectly. I believe Marco does it one more time to bring the robot to life for good. There's a whole mystery behind that because he actually kills Marco and then you find him in the snow. Let me know if you guys have any thoughts. I'll put a link in the description if you don't know about that. But if you look right next to the robot, you can see the same device in the house. Same company, definitely the same thing that is used to power up the freak of nature. Here's the picture that Karma sent me. He said this is inside the science lab and also next to the creature on the house. The same machine, both made from the Lancet Electric Company. He's been a huge help to me throughout the past. Much love to Karma Ingram. I'll have a link in the description of his Twitter. But this is interesting, guys. Let me know if you have any thoughts. You got the hammer. I believe the part in the middle was held by Arthur as he went out into the lightning storm. So not only do you have this piece of machinery, which seems to be very important, but also the lightning rod. I'll show you guys that the lightning rods that Arthur holds is the same one on the roof of the house. Clearly, lightning is important. And we need it for the man-made creature. Arthur's back outside. He's about to place the conductor. You're going to see an image on the right of what the rod looks like. Pay close attention to that because the same shape can be found within the weather vane at the house. So watch out, Arthur. Don't get struck. And there it is. I'll pause it for you guys so you get a better look. But that is important. That weather vane is a lightning rod itself. Or in this case, I guess, a lightning conductor. There's a better look at it for you guys. I think the shape is crucial to how this thing actually works. Notice the curls on the top and then the bulb on the bottom. Now let's head back to the house and get a better look at the weather vane. By the way, this is where you can find the house if you haven't come across it yet. It is right outside of Van Horn. And then to the north, you can find the Tesla Tower and Factory. It's in the same region. That cannot be a coincidence. I don't think Marco worked on this house though. It seems to be different groups of people, and even after Marco is dead, 
the fireplace is still going here at the house. Now, if you look at the top, you can tell that Rockstar is very sneaky. They built the lightning conductor into the antenna. You see that? The same curl, the same bulb. That is definitely a lightning rod, which means we have to cause a thunderstorm here somehow. Let me know if you've ever seen one. I've never had a thunderstorm erupt right here at the house. The only idea that I have is that you have the burial grounds. That is a trigger for a thunderstorm, so we can cause it there, but it's pretty much the furthest possible place. It is right over here somewhere. Looks like I haven't found it during this profile, but it is right here. So how we could cause the thunderstorm and then get all the way over to the opposite side to maybe get this place struck by lightning. I don't know if that's possible. Let me know if you guys have any ideas. But there it is, the lightning rod, very cleverly hidden at the house. Huge shout out again to Karma for discovering that. I'm sure that we can bring this thing to life just like Frankenstein's creature. Why else would Rockstar put all this here? And again, that robot, that's another mystery. You know, he kills Marco, you have to find him in the snow. I really don't know what to think of that. We have now found the same exact device, same company and everything, and the lightning rod at this house. We gotta make it rain, and we gotta have lightning strike the house. I don't know if I wanna bring the creature to life, but maybe it's possible, guys. I really wanna hear back from you. I think that these are major discoveries. I always thought that there was something missing from this location. One more thing we can pull off, and now I believe that we have some experiments to attempt. Maybe we can make it thunderstorm and bring this ugly bastard to life. It would make for a perfect final boss to an undead nightmare, but why else would Rockstar put this thing right here? Much love, guys. I hope you enjoyed the episode. I got more big ones on the way. In fact, I already have a video in the works, but I had to post this one up right away. I really wanted to hear from you guys. We got the mystery of the man, bear, pig, ram, falcon, monkey. I don't even know. Stay tuned, my friends. And as always, make sure to stay trippy, everybody.